me. Good. It's Juliana! Mike, what's up? We have a kidnap. The victim is a 20-year-old college student. You sure it's a kidnap, not a college kid lost on a bender? Yep. Where are you? At the pool? Yeah, so that was really nice until you called. She didn't come home last night. Mom and Dad got a call. No demand for ransom. The girl was pleading for her life, and they hung up. Works for me? The boss has assigned you the case agent. I'm leaving now for the residence in Santa Monica with a special response team. I'm there. Got latte? Mm. Got blow dryer? Surveillance will be a bitch. And the truth. Oh, anyone talk to the parents? We're waiting for the case agent. Sweet. What's all of this? Good morning, ma'am. I'm Special Agent Anna Gray, the FBI. Good to see you, Agent Gray. You too, Detective. This is Lynn Meyer, Juliana's mom. Remember, Lynn, I told you I'd ask for assistance from the FBI, right? This is our special response team. Special Agents Donato, Vernon, and Sullivan. And we're going to bring your daughter home as quickly and safely as possible. May we enter your home? Thank God you're here. Donato, you're the case agent for the Bureau? Nope. That'll be Agent Gray. Sorry. Not a problem. Kyle and Barbara, set up the surveillance teams. Yeah, well, you just put in your order Vince. and we'll get it to you by Wednesday. Vince, get off. <sighs> Sir? Special Agent Anna Gray with the FBI. I need you to get off the phone immediately. It's my phone. Well, we need to keep the line clear in case your daughter calls. I'll call you back. I get that. It's just that I was uh, talking with a major client. We manufacture genes, run the company together. It was a good idea at the time. Oh, we need to look at your records. Oh, great, because we're the criminals now, right? No one's suggesting that, Mr. Murphy. Is there anybody in your world that might have had a grudge against you or your family? Yeah, sure, I'll tell you who that would, that would be. Nelson Yi. Nelson Yi. Yeah, the bastard. He was a member of a Korean gang that stole $300,000 worth of spandex from us. And Vince testified against him. We'll look into him. Better sight lines in the alley. Surveillance is in place. I'll check on the guys upstairs. Hey, Len. Listen, I got a roll, but I want you to know that I'm on the case, OK? Now, a police negotiator's going to stay here with you, and you're in my car. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've been so terrific. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Where's this brief this afternoon? It's at our office. I'll see you there. Hey, let's get something straight here, okay? Juliana is loved. She comes from a loving home, and she's a good kid. She doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke. I mean, she doesn't smoke anything. Here you are, Mr. Murphy. So something must have happened to her, because she would never do this to us. We know something happened to her. Does Juliana ever run away? No. Does Julianne have a boyfriend? Hey, what's with all the hammering upstairs? Uh, the wires and pliers guys, they're putting in a phone line to our command center. Oh, that's great. Miss Murphy, is there another way out back? Yeah, I'll show you. You got this? Tell me, when was the last time you had something to eat? Your daughter is beautiful. She doesn't even think she's pretty. Who took this picture? Uh, she said a friend. I... Is it OK if I make a copy? Yeah. Juliana's a swimmer? Since she was eight. She's really only at home when she's in the water. I can relate. 
How's Juliana's state of mind been lately? She's been kind of upset since her grandfather died. It's my dad. They were really close. You know, I, I just can't, I can't do this. I'm sorry. Check this out. That's a weird expression on her face, don't you think? Looks like she's trying very hard to please someone. A friend takes this and that's how you look? Who is Juliana posing for? If they call, you tell them you want to hear your daughter's voice. Nothing else. Get off the phone. And what if it's my mother? I can't tell her what's happened. Well, this is the negotiator. She'll be listening in on the conversation, passing notes on what to say. Wow, a team of professionals trained to deal with your mother. God bless America. Most importantly, do not talk to the press. It could escalate the suspect, OK? Hey, me too. Let me need you back. All right, what'd you, what'd you get from the dad? The victim's boyfriend is Charles Rodriguez. Lives in Venice. They were together in high school. Julianne never made the adjustment to college, so when she moved back in with her folks, they started seeing each other again. They don't like him. Wrong side of the tracks. Dad calls him a user. A user of what? Drugs? People. Their daughter, apparently. She goes to Santa Monica Community College and works at a high-end clothing store called Magique. Uh, what are you thinking, boss? Does it make sense this knucklehead Rodriguez had kidnapped her? She might be hiding with him from her parents. It's an only child. Keep a pretty tight rein on Interview the boyfriend. We're bringing him in. What do we know about the family? The father got her the job at Magique. Mm. Is he molesting her? Is that why she split? I haven't ruled it out. Polygraph both parents. I'd rather work it gently, sir. If we know more about Juliana, we'll have a better idea of who might have taken her. Your call. Thank you, sir. I knew I'm fine here. These are prepaid. Thank you. Did you get some good shots? Half of them didn't come out. Uh, did you forget to turn on the autofocus? I often do that myself. <laughs> hey, uh, sir. Carl? I finished. Do you want to write? Oh, no, thank you, Mrs. Santos. I'll see you at home later. OK. Good afternoon. I'm FBI Special Agent Anna Gray, and this is the all-hands briefing for the Santa Monica Kidnapping Task Force. The victim is Juliana Meyer Murphy. I'd like to bring in Detective Andrew Berenger, who is the head investigator for the Santa Monica PD, which is the lead agency on this case. Thank you, Agent Gray. We appreciate your assistance. This is the first 911 call from the mom. Go ahead. 911 operator. Uh, yeah, my daughter hasn't come home tonight, and uh, I've called all her friends, and no one seems to know where she is. Do you have reason to suspect your daughter has come into harm's way, Matt? No, no, I, I, I guess not. No, she's, she's probably just late. Never mind, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. Now, this is the second call, which came in at 6.30 a.m. 911? Someone's kidnapped my daughter. They've taken her. How do you know she's been kidnapped, ma'am? They just called. <laughs> You've got to help me. Oh, All right, mama, calm down oh, and mama. tell me exactly what she said, ma'am. She said, Mom, it's Juliana. He's going to kill me. <laughs> and then they hung up. <laughs> so there's been no demand for ransom. That's all we have. We'll be marrying up with Santa Monica PD on canvassing the neighborhood, all that good stuff. So as you complete mm -hmm. your leads, calling with your results. Let's find this girl. Hey, let's go. Thank you. Want bite? Yeah. Want a little bit more? Mm-hmm. All right, sure. Wow. How are we going to do this, Andrew? <laughs> 
Act like grown-ups, if that's possible. Sure. Unless the kidnap becomes our jurisdiction, and then I'm your boss. Can you handle that? <laughs> I like it when you're on top. You know that, Penny. Uh, wow. I have to go to work every day and pretend I don't know what you look like naked. Hmm. Look what I have to contend with. Hmm. So, um, my boss wants to polygraph the parents. What do you think? It's an old marriage. You can smell the rotting meat, Anna. Oh, you're so cynical about relationships. Well, I've been there so often, my name's inscribed on a relationship crapper, sweetie. You know, you keep saying stuff like that. What are you telling me, Andy? Uh, just give me safe passage. That's what my dad used to say. Just give me safe passage. I know you're smoking cigarettes, Andy, and ain't gonna cut it. So, like, don't get mad at me? No, like, um, <laughs> help me through this because... <laughs> through what? We are seeing each other. We're not running a marathon in Death Valley. How long is it? It's 26.22 miles. That we've been going out, goofball. <laughs> Almost six months. We go forward and we go back, and sometimes I think it's in full retreat. Well, guess what? What? I'm here. Good. Juliana Meyer Murphy. Worked here maybe six months before she was fired. What'd you steal? $700 leather jacket. I had to let her go. You know, would you mind emailing that to me? Yeah, no problem. I didn't have the heart to tell her parents. Her dad makes our jeans. He got her the job. Did you notice any changes in Juliana before she started taking things, hanging out with questionable people? It was after I fired her that things got creepy. Oh, yeah, how's that? She used to sit out there on that bench all day, every day, right in front of the store. I thought she was stalking me. I used to leave through the rear. Charles Rodriguez, I'm a special agent, Donato. Thanks for coming in. What'd I do? Not pay my taxes? <laughs> That's not my department. So listen, uh, tell me about your relationship with Juliana Meyer Murphy. I know her. I know you know her. When's the last time you saw her? Juliana? Yeah. A couple weeks ago, maybe. I had a barbecue with my family. Really? So she comes to the party after you hit her? I never hit her. She posted that on her Facebook page. Said you two had a fight, then you slapped her. I mean, that's trash talk. Your girlfriend's missing, Slick. Did you know that? No. What happened to her? What happened to you? Been arrested for breaking into people's houses, and now... You're slinging weed for the Mexican Mafia? Okay, what does that have to do with Juliana? I'll tell you what. I'm gonna do this again. Only this time. You gotta tell me the truth. Right? Yeah. Great, thank you. Pulling video surveillance footage from the cameras inside of the mall. We should have it by this afternoon. That was Agent Mike Donato. Boyfriend admits he took money from Juliana to pay off his debt to the Mexican Mafia. Hmm. Let me ask you a question, Ed. How much longer do we sit here before we jump on a Harley and head up the coast to the San Piper Motel? 30 seconds. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she steals merchandise from her place of employment to help out her boyfriend, and then she gets fired, right? All right, so she sits there day after day, afraid to tell her parents, because dad's the one who got her the job. Right. Grandfather died, she hates her life. It's really John Black. Hey, Willie. What are you doing? Remember me? Mm -hmm. Detective Berenger. Oh, 
Yeah, I remember you. You were always a gentleman, even when you arrested me. Thank you very much. Listen, Willie, have you seen this woman? No. I saw her with that man with, with the camera, the tourist from Arizona. What do you look like? White guy. Wait, you saw him talking to this girl when? On and off. Yesterday? What, uh, maybe. Willie? Yeah. Do you know his name? Well, I call him Arizona because he's always talking about Arizona. Wants to go back where he came from. Just like me. Uh, I'm originally from New Orleans. I'd love to go back, but I have to work. What, uh, what kind of work? Well, I work for the National Defense Department traveling around America. My job is to drive randomly through the United States and data process sponge cake. Mm. Right. What well, sponge cake is a code name that refers to Patricia Hearst. Sometimes I run into a candlelight situation. That's an entity case where the future and the past kind of merge together. Willie, have you ever been in a hospital and they give you any medication? Well, I'm on medication right now. I'm a depressed person right now. OK, Willie, Willie. God bless you. So Juliana's sitting on the poor me bench with this guy. Uh, OK, stop. Willie is incredible. It's a lead. No, it's not a lead. Listen, there's truth in what he's saying. Yeah? What yeah. part? The uh, data processing sponge no, cake? No, actually, you need to weed through that. Look, Willie yeah. John Black is a schizophrenic transient. I'm not taking it to my Listen, boss. Listen, if you're afraid of what your boss is, that's your problem. See, this is what I meant about working together, you and your testosterone. Since when you have a problem with my testosterone. Uh, I would love to continue this, but I got to go see my grandfather before the okay. next briefing. If Willie's a good witness or not, it'll all be on tape. That's it? Later. Hey, Toots, long time no see. Hey, Grandpa B. Wow. Heard a story today about a little girl and her grandfather. Made me think of you. Happy belated birthday. Well, thank you. You look great, Poppy. Hey, you know, I'm on a diet. I lost two pounds. Oh, I shouldn't have brought any cake then. No, I love cake. Remember, your mother was a great baker. Yeah, she always made a big deal about birthdays. She loved throwing parties. Of course, all that stopped when I was 14. Why is that? Mom died when I was 14. No. That doesn't seem right. Yeah, trust me. Look, you've always taken great care of me. Now it's my turn to take care of you. I don't need anybody to take care of me. I'm fine. What are you drinking? Brought my own. Oh, white wine, a pussy bureau drink, huh? OK, can we drop the bureau bashing for just one night? I'm working a kidnap, and I just stop by to wish you a happy birthday. Hey, you know, I did a kidnap back in 1974, Long Beach. They snatched a kid out of a deli, and I figured that one out. When you were a cop, did you ever use a transient as a witness? When I was a cop, we didn't have transients. We had bums. <sighs> OK, bums. So what is your wisdom on the testimony of bums? Well, my wisdom is and always was. Lock up the bad guys, then ask the questions. Well, you know, it doesn't work that way. Well, then what are you asking? I'm asking for safe passage. What the hell is safe passage? I wouldn't understand. Well, then why throw it on the table? Just say, happy birthday, Poppy. Happy birthday, Poppy. This is the surveillance footage Santa Monica PD pulled from the mini mall. Those two obviously know each other. Can we capture his face? Roll it back. There's got to be a better angle. Let's save time. They probably went to his vehicle, run the film from the garage, and skip to 2.46 PM yesterday. Nice, Anna. Thanks. <laughs> I was going there. Oh, of course you were. You're the one with the PhD.
That's Arizona plate. Right, Adam? Call Phoenix FBI and see what we can get. Well, in 12 to 18 hours, we should know who he is and what he eats for breakfast, right, Donato? Yep. This guy's into his own scenario. He was hunting and he found a little mouse. We're not back to the same time every day. Stop. There he is. He was hunting where kids hang out in the afternoon. Find that girl, she could ID the suspect. If she's the mouse that gets away. Thanks. Oh, you're an angel. I try. Is mom okay? I just bear it. Yeah. Why is it that no matter how much money you have, pull out sofa still sucks? Mm. Yeah. Good morning, Lynn. Hey, would you have a seat? I need to talk to you for a minute. So what did you guys find out about that bastard Nelson Yee? Nelson Yee is still serving a four-year prison sentence for stealing spandex from your company. What about the fact that he's still got friends outside of prison? Did you ever think of that? Yes, we have, and we no longer consider Nelson Yee a suspect. Great. Folks, we need to bring you in for a polygraph, a lie detector test. Hey, we're her parents. We love Julianne. Yeah, of course. Some people, they chop up their kids and they put them in concrete. Did we do that? No. So what the hell are you guys thinking? We're dying here. Lynn, are you all right? Nobody has to take a lie detector test. Why not, Lynn? I should have told you sooner. I was just praying it wasn't true, but now I'm so afraid. Lynn, what are you, what are you talking about? I had an... I had an affair. I had an affair in Milan with a buyer from Nordstrom that he took my baby. Oh. Why would a buyer from Nordstrom take your child? Because he was very, very angry with me when I ended the relationship. You ended the relationship. I... I sent his underwear to his wife. You mean Al Hobart? That pompous little creep. Good choice, Lynn. Good choice. One of the top executives of the whole damn Nordstrom overseas operation. Screw this. Vince, wait. Lynn, tell me about this man, Hobart. He lives in Seattle, but he's in L.A. all the time. Anna, we have a situation. Oh. Vince has locked himself in the study. Oh, no. What is it? Vince keeps his father's gun in the desk. We need backup. Dad has barricaded himself in the study, possibly Vince, on. Vince, what's going on? Talk to me. What's there to talk about? You don't have a clue. You don't even know if my daughter's still alive. You thinking of doing something to yourself, Vince? You thinking of committing suicide? What the hell with you? Talk to the dad. Just give me a minute. Gun! Don't shoot it! Drop the weapon! Step out of the hallway! It's a phone! Drop it now! What did you do? Have you seen hey, this girl? You seen this van? Uh, no, sorry. Uh, no? Thank you. I don't know. It's Big nothing. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Have you seen this van around? Does it look familiar? No? Thank you. Have you seen this girl? Mm. I could find it. See this van? Mm. No. See this van? Have either of you seen this girl? Hey, pal. Yeah. The guy we're looking for is driving this blue van. What's the girl he was talking to on the bench? She looks familiar. What's her name? Don't only now. I'm Franny. Where'd you come from? I got a million texts. The cops want to talk to me. Hey. Actually, FBI. I'm Special Agent Donato. This is my partner, Kyle Vernon. We're looking for the man you were talking to. I believe you abducted a young woman at the same spot yesterday. That douche, he came on to me. I was out of there. He split what? Like I'm a model. I can be in a magazine. 
He was trying to act all cool, but he creeped me out. I thought he was some kind of army guy, not a real photographer. Plus, just weird, he says, don't forget me. How do you know this girl? I don't know her, uh, but I saw her talking to him. Okay. Hey, where's the Santa Monica cowboy polishing his boots? Don't ask me, I'm only the case agent. Right. All right, folks, let's go. We have a prime suspect. Ray Brennan, 35, former Marine. We heard back from Phoenix FBI. They determined from the tags on the van that Brennan was arrested twice for sexual assault, but the victims did not press charges. We now have a witness. Franny Barnes, the girl Brennan tried to pick up at the mall, but she knew better. He told her, don't forget me. And we fed these words into Vicap, thinking he might have uttered these same sweet nothings to other victims. Hold up a minute, Mike. Yeah, what's up? Take a look at this. What do you got? Welcome back to the KPWN News, and I'm getting some breaking information on the missing girl. A 20-year-old Santa Monica resident, Juliana Meyer Murphy, has been reported kidnapped. She was last seen entering a blue van with Arizona... What's that about? The dad locked himself in the study and called the TV station. He believed if he got his daughter on TV, it would get her returned. No. Should have never happened. You weren't there. Is that Galloway? You want to see me, sir? Yeah. Anna Gray, this is Jason Ripley. He's a new probationary agent. Hello, Agent Ripley. Welcome. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. You're going to be Jason's training agent. Great. Wasn't Mike Donato your uh, trainer? Yes, sir. Uh, Mike gave me my first arrest. Yeah, you never forget the person who gives you your first arrest. I'll never forget you. How long have you been in? Six months. I love it. Mm. Isn't that great? Enthusiasm? Terrific. <laughs> All right. We just got three hits off ICAP with words like, don't forget me and you'll always remember me. He strangles the victims to the point of asphyxiation, performs sex acts, wakes them up, and does it again. The assaults on Vicap took place in Georgetown, South Beach, and Austin, Texas. All nice girls with no criminal records taken from youth-oriented malls. They all resemble each other. Yeah. Jason was a school psychologist before he attended the FBI Academy. We should pay more attention to the psychology of the offender. It's called criminal investigative analysis, or it's what I do. Then do it without the whole world watching. I got a call from the SAC. People with money and influence do not expect their children to be under threat of any kind. Is he allowed to have that cigar? He doesn't smoke it. He just waves it around. Well, you don't need to fly to Vienna to figure out the symbolism there, right? Asac Galloway is head of our division, and the only thing he stands for is respect. Yeah, yeah, right. Sure. Hey, listen to me. I want to thank you for taking me on. I hope to learn from you and not make the same mistakes. I maybe didn't say that right. Yeah. Anna Gray. Hey, so missing person case in Culver City. Police found the body of a young woman in a shallow grave in the park. Brunette? Yeah. She fits Juliana's description in it. Thanks. Something's up. I want to go see. No, let's stay inside for now. Excuse me. Pardon me. God, how did this happen? Kids got on Facebook. Oh, 
extremely honest. We don't know who the victim is, so until we get an ID, let's not even go there. Ma'am, it went viral on the internet. Doesn't mean it's Juliana. Those people out there, they don't know anything. <laughs> Lynn, we're just gonna have to wait for an ID. Wait? What for? Get a grip, Lynn. <sighs> you need to shut up. This is all your fault. You had to call the TV station. You made How dare you say that? Stop. Stop. I gotta Stop. find Juliana. I want my daughter back. And put his perspective. Juliana, what if my daughter back? She's been dead around ten days, I'd say. It isn't Juliana. No, we have a positive idea. Her name is Arlene Hartunian from Los Angeles, same age, and close in appearance. As far as we know, murder isn't always part of Ray Brennan's pattern. He strangles him, lets him go, damaged. It could be two different suspects where he's escalating. Cause of death? Coroner won't commit pending autopsy, but if you look, you can see the ligature marks around the neck. Now, I've placed calls to different departments looking for cold cases that are similar. Might bring closure to some of the families. You were missed at the briefing. Well, I got called out on this thing, honey. Well, you could have let me know. Anna, have a look at this. Hey, Hugh. Hello. They recovered a partial footprint. Yeah, looks old pattern. It's a boot print. Military? We'll know when they run it through the footwear recognition database. Then they can tell us the brand, where he bought them, and his mother's maiden name. Keeps the propeller heads happy. So my gut says it's the same guy. I'm gonna head back over to the mall and show the victim's photo to Willie John Black. Around 9.30, fresh grapefruit martinis, huh? Hmm? <laughs> fresh squeeze? Go away. I'll see you then. Partial clearing tonight with a low of 65, and more sun expected tomorrow with a high of 77. There was a great discovery today. Anyone with information on a Blue Dodge van, Arizona license plate, MAQ 3586, call the tip hotline at 1-800-431-5792. And in sports, the Spartans beat the Tigers in the final championship game tonight. You'll never forget me. Hey, babe. I'm here. Give me a shout. Special Agent Anna Gray, FBI. I'm looking for a Santa Monica police detective, Andrew Berenger. I don't know why. Uh, working a case together. We're looking for a transient named Willie John Black. Oh, the guy with the bike. Yeah. He's usually out by the uh, dumpster around now, but I haven't seen him tonight. Thanks. Oh. Get up. We're going to church. <laughs> what are you saying? 
He wanted to go to the church trip up to Lake Arrowhead, so now we're going. It's the middle of the night, fool. You've been using really good. So now what happened? You lose your job. Leave my mom alone. You pack. No. We're going camping. You find those sleeping bags now. Roxy, do what he says. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate your consideration. approaching the residence, weaving and possibly intoxicated. No, of course I want him to make varsity. I... Rochelle, I gotta call you back. Juliana. Okay. Juliana, it's okay. It's okay. My name's Mike. This is my partner, Kyle. Okay, we're with the FBI. We've been looking for you. I know you want to go home, honey. But I can't let you go in there right now. I've got to get you to a doctor so they can examine you. Oh my God, has she been walking all night? I just want to go inside. Listen, I'm going to put these gloves on, okay? In case you've got evidence on you. All right? I got this. My partner's going to go tell your mom and dad you're okay. Okay? We're going to get you to the hospital, okay? It's okay. 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 my daughter. Uh, I understand they're taking good care of her. She's a survivor, that kid. I told you that. They want you in the examination. What about me? Uh... Lynn, they're collecting evidence, all right? Thank God she was only raped. <laughs> she was sexually assaulted and brutalized, sir. She needs support to get through this. Don't worry about support. We're her family. We'll support her. You find the guy. That's the plan. We'd like to give you a complete medical examination to make sure you're okay. But first, I do need to ask you some questions about what happened. I don't remember a lot. You said that a few hours ago you got out of a car. It's a van. Can you describe the van? Everything you can tell us will help us find the person who did this to you. Can we just... Please get this over with. I love that guy. He's so soft. 
Can I have the duck? I see you have bruises on your neck. How did that happen? Did he touch you in any other way? He raped me. Did he penetrate you with anything else? Juliana, each act is a different crime, okay? Juliana, I'm an FBI agent and I carry a gun, but there are still things that scare me. Sometimes I wake up in the night and, oh man, it would be such a relief to have someone to talk to. I need a much more detailed account of what happened to her. It seems there's loss of consciousness and loss of memory. It's possible she was drugged. We see a lot of that. Well, look, I need to get answers, especially because this guy is likely to do it again. You know how to get her to disclose. She needs to feel safe here and comfortable in her medical And care. I need to move. I have a task force ready to go. It's not my role to force her to talk. Let's move over here and take off your clothes. They may contain evidence. Please stand on the paper so we can collect anything that falls off your clothing. Is that okay with you? It's okay. There's evidence on your skin. It'll show up under this ultraviolet light. I need to turn off the lights. That's fine. Is there any place on your body where he licked you or kissed you? I don't know. Did he ejaculate on your body? Here we go. Is it all right if I continue? Turn around for me. There's a mark on your back. Is it all right if I ask Anna to look at it? Sure. What kind of shoes was the assailant wearing? Boots. Do you remember anything special about him? They're all polished up. I have to photograph this. What? He left a partial imprint. It's the sole of a shoe. Just get it off of me, please! Just get it off of me right now! Just get it off, please! I don't want to let me down! Good morning, Mike. Good morning, sunshine. Ouch. You look beat up. Oh. Yeah, you look worse. <sighs> so... Yeah. How's the Santa Monica cowboy? Please don't call him that. Just looking out for you. Oh, yeah? You have a better idea? I might. Really? World's greatest dad? Most married man? Married part's not going so great right now. But, uh, you know, Rochelle and I, we've been there before. Sorry to hear that. What to do? Oh, Mike, I don't want to play. Anna, we're still missing the victim's description of the offender. 
Oh, she can't do it. She's traumatized. Her responses are guarded. We need the victim's narrative. Push it. No. I'm not going to push her, sir. She needs to feel safe. Do I need to bring in a more senior agent to take over this case? Absolutely not. I'm doing good here. Look what I'm getting. Prime suspect, possibly linked to four other crimes. Let me have a shot with Juliana. Up to the case agent. Juliana's already formed a bond with me. A bond is not the same as an empathetic relationship. I'm not her shrink, and neither are you. And if you think that's what this is about, you've got the wrong idea of what it means to be a federal agent. That is a dated view. Dated? I got to be at the Saudi consulate. Just get her to talk. All I'm trying to do is share my expertise. Share this. I it's been a hard week. Everybody is... I won't bug you anymore. Here's my card. If you need anything. You were a high school swimmer. So was I. What's your best stroke? What difference does it make? Have you been back in the water? I don't want to. Juliana, do you know this girl? What about this man? Yeah, that's him. This isn't your fault. No, there's nothing you could have done to stop him, okay? But look what you were just able to do. You just gave us a positive ID so we can catch this guy and put him away. <laughs> You're a strong girl. <laughs> you walked all the way home. <laughs> yeah. Sir. I issued the warrant on Ray Brennan. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Anna, are you having a personality conflict with Jason Ripley? No, of course not. He says you're not returning his emails. We're all part of the Bureau family. That ain't no jive. What was that about? Mm. Jason's telling Galloway that I'm not returning his emails. It's cheeky for a guy right out of the box. Kid is green as grass. Yeah, I really don't need this on a high-profile investigation. Yeah, you truly don't. Jason. Hey, maybe they didn't cover this in the academy, but there's a code around here. We don't rat each other out. I don't answer your emails. You tell me in person. We treat people fairly, whether they're the good guys or not. And that's a result of time on the street. Not everyone can do what we do. See, I'm the kind of person who, when I hear the national anthem, I get all teary-eyed. It's a feeling. Patriotism, integrity, whatever you want to call it, whatever that feeling is, you either have it or you don't. Hey, I'm um, sorry, did I wake you up? I was just gonna leave a message. No, no, it's okay, I'm awake. Did you wake up because you were scared? <sighs> yeah, maybe so. You remember that picture of that girl that you showed me? I saw her. Where? On his wall, in his room. I just, I didn't remember it. Thank you for telling me, Juliana. It's very important. How much longer is it gonna be dark? Not very long. We can watch the sun come up together. Ray said he liked me. Caught in his van, he was a totally different person. Okay. 
you doing here? Something happened on the case? No, I'm worried about Will. He hasn't been around. You know, I went to the mall to meet you, but it came up empty. And I'm not talking about Willie. Where were you? I'm tired of asking the same questions. Listen, Anna, I had something very important come up, okay? Were you with someone else? That's all I need to know. Hey, listen, a lot of people would be very happy with what we have. You hear me? Yeah, and what is that exactly? Because sometimes it's really sweet and close, and then all of a sudden you're a completely different person. Look, we all have our issues, okay? Yeah. Yeah, because you make me crazy. I think about you way too much, especially at work. If it's not going to be real, then let's just forget it. Careful what you say. Yeah, well, I'm saying it. Found by me. Brennan had approached her several times, but on Thursday the 23rd, he invited her to take photos down at the beach. He was wearing combat pants and boots, hunting. In the van, he tried to force oral sex, but he couldn't get an erection. He gave her a can of soda that probably contained a date rape drug. She felt dizzy and passed out. We have hits on VICAP that connect this offender to assaults in Washington, D.C., Florida, and Texas. I profile the subject as a power assertive serial rapist. I disagree with the diagnosis as power assertive. I think he has an antisocial personality disorder. He's talking about a criminal profile so we can nail this idiot. Not a diagnosis so we can go into therapy and have a nice day. <laughs> okay, so why did he let Juliana go? He takes trophy photos and releases them with the words, you'll never forget me. That's his message to the world. I want you to feel my pain. What about the girl in the park? Well, the footprint in the park matches the UV image of the boot on Juliana's back. It was Brennan. And uh, we have confirmation from Juliana that her picture was in his studio. Why did you kill this one? Maybe it was a fluke. We're on that, sir. You know, maybe I can help out here. I went to the funeral and I talked to the mom. Arlene Haratunian had a heart condition. She died of an aortic rupture. It messed up Brennan's scenario. Now, here's the game changer. Arlene wanted to be a model. Ray Brennan took these pictures. Yeah, we don't know that. Okay, listen, just listen for a second. Over the past few months, three women have gone missing. 10 days ago, he killed Arlene. Six days ago, he took Juliana. He is going after someone else. Hi. After 9-11, like a lot of people, I wanted to serve my country. I became a teacher. But in the end, I had to quit the school system because the city government is corrupt. Council members were lining their pockets. Kids couldn't even get a hot lunch. I believe in fairness. I do. I joined the Bureau because it's the most powerful law enforcement agency in the world. I want to fix things. I know this is the place. Well, our environment isn't for everyone. It's for me. I'm going to prove it to you. I looked at LA police reports for similarities to Ray Brennan's profile. This is from Culver City. A 19-year-old girl named Roxy Santos calls 911 to report that her mother's boyfriend, Carl Vincent, is beating up on her mom. It's most likely the girl is being abused, but she withdraws the complaint. What well, she's protecting this fool. Roxy is close in age to Juliana. They live within striking distance of the mini mall. Carl Vincent could be Ray Brennan. He could have left Arizona to find new hunting ground. Why? Something changed. Life stress? We don't know. Look at this. Carl Vincent works in a drugstore in the photo lab. And he drives a blue van. 
Turn left at the abandoned house. That's Brennan's house. The neighbor ID'd Brennan's photo as Carl Vincent. I like it. He said the Vincent family is away to church retreat in Lake Arrowhead, but they're supposed to be back. According to the lab report, a paint chip found on Juliana's clothing indicates that she was brought to an old house on loamy soil. What kind of soil are these houses built on? Uh, you, are you, you're asking me? You were born on a farm, right? We're not in Kansas anymore. Yeah. How do you prove yourself when you were starting out? I made sure I was always the first one through the door. Is the mother call for backup? Not yet. Right. We don't want to look like idiots. There's a white male in the car. If it's Brennan, I'll approach him and you back me up. Grab the sleeping bag. Initiate. FBI, freeze. We have an arrest warrant for Ray Brennan. Stay with her! Call for stop. backup! FBI, stop! Set up a perimeter, start knocking on doors. The mother in the front seat. <sighs> Send the ERT over here. We need to process the car in the house. Size 10, just like the imprint on Juliana's back. Was he also molesting the little girl who lives here? Mom says no, but mom's an addict. Lost the kids for a while. Social services has volumes on her. Brennan buys the groceries. He keeps some kind of order. She's an enabler. He's a manipulator. Made in heaven. So how did he end up here? According to Mrs. Santos, Brennan grew up in Culver City. His stomping ground becomes his hunting ground. Brennan's father was also former military. He and Brennan's mother were divorced. He's got an older sister named Rose. The last address we have for her is Phoenix. Maybe that's why Brennan left Arizona. Sister finally kicks out the crazy brother. Which makes him even crazier. Hey, Poppy. What happened? I don't faint. Then how did you hit your head? I tripped. You were on the bike, and you didn't take your blood pressure pills. They don't work. They give me erectile dysfunction. <sighs> OK, I don't have time for this. <sighs> Damn. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.
Going fishing? Why me? Oh, Poppy. Really? What? Are these vintage? You mean like me? Ask my neighbor, Beverly. Can I have this? It's my collection. There's a whole stack of them. That's why it's called a collection. Take your pill. Anna. I've made a match. The wear pattern on the gym <sighs> shoes is the same as the boot. You're a man of many talents, Hugh. Especially the art of cheesecake. Ah, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> How did you get hold of that? Oh, confidential source. Like, if you were Ray Brennan, where would you go to find models? Seems kind of random to pick up girls on benches. If I were totally desperate, I'd probably go on photo day. What is photo day? A meetup between wannabe photographers and models. Supposed to be squeaky clean, over 18, no physical contact. Strictly Abba tonight. Pathetic, if you ask me. So where would he go to find out about photo day? Um, on the internet, of course. But... We retrieved the hard drives from the computers of Juliana Meyer Murphy and Arlene Hartunian and looked at their calendars. And if we could find a connection between them, we'd know where he was finding these girls. But it looks like Juliana never went to photo day. Hold your girdle, Myrtle. I crossed the data on Arlene's computer with every single photo day in Southern California in the past six months, and here's the match. Arlene Hartunian messaged a girlfriend that she was going to model at a photo show two weeks ago at the Chinese Garden. The blue means rained out? Exactly. Remember that? Rained for a week solid. Mm. My garden was so happy. He's still compelled to find a victim, so he goes to the mini mall instead. Photo day is a new and better hunting ground, but because of the rain, he goes back to his usual pattern. When's the next photo day? This weekend, and the forecast is sunny. There you go. Good, Good just like that. Just like that? I'm not sure. Hey, come this way? Come on, I'm ready. Good, good. Up, 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 up. Good. Excuse me, folks. I'm looking for a photographer named Ray. Also goes by Carl. Have you seen him? Perfect. Can I smile on this one? That's good, that's good. Okay, here's going the other way now. Hold that, hold that. Hey guys, have you seen a photographer named Ray? Also goes by Carl. <laughs> okay. Okay, chin up. Great. Right. Close your eyes and then just pop them over. I'm the mom. Sonoma has her own website. I always tell my girls, you got to use your looks while you still got it, right? <laughs> you have another daughter? Yeah, that's Bridget. That's uh, Sonoma's sister. She's a model, too. They don't do lingerie. Is Bridget here? She's working with another gentleman. They went to his studio. Is this the photographer? That's him with short hair, yeah. How long ago did they leave? I've been watching the baby. He said the studio was right around here at his uh, mother's house. Special Agent Anna Gray, FBI. Mom, 
He says he's gonna kill me. Oh, God. She said he's gonna kill her. Call Kyle. He's gonna... I'm on it. Sonoma? Sonoma, honey? Kyle, I'm sending you the number from a call just made by the suspect. Okay, good. I'm getting the number now. Find this number for me, will you? Brennan's sequence. He's compelled to call the mother of the girl and make her suffer, too. It's just like Juliana and her mom. Yeah, but this time you didn't know we were listening. Kyle got the address where he took the girl. Tell me it's Culver City. You got it. He drives. ASAC Galloway. Brennan's abducted a 19-year-old female from the Chinese garden and taken her to his mother's house in Culver City. Copy that address. I'm activating SWAT and alerting the other agencies. Sir, I know this subject. Please do not go into that house until I get there. Except on my command, you got it? Get ready to talk to the suspect. Yeah, I'm looking at it. What's your position, Anna? At the rear of the house? We're ready to make the call. Got my ear in. Do we know if she's in the house? She could be in the van. He could be assaulting her right now. Do we have eyes on the van? 30 seconds from securing the perimeter. 30 seconds is too long. Barbara, ask the mom what Bridget is wearing. What clothes did your daughter wear today? Um, uh, she's dressed the same as her sister, but she has a red cowboy hat, red with sparkles. Okay. Did you get that? Yeah, that's Bridget's. Back it up. Let's go around. Mike, what do you got? Brennan's van's parked near the house. Uh huh. We can put the victims inside. Okay, where's Anna? She's clear in the van. All right. Okay. First one through the door. Getting in closer. Agent Gray is approaching the van. What's in position? We're ready to make the call. inside the house. All right, let's go in. What are we waiting for? Come on. Sir, we are in position. We can go in so no one gets hurt. Negotiate first. I don't want to explain to Bridget's parents. She's not coming home tonight because we thought it was a good idea to kick in the door instead of making a phone call. He's not picking up. I know this guy. Let me get face to face and I can negotiate. Too late for that. I can use a ruse to gain entry through the front door. No way. I am not risking an agent's life. Well, this girl's life is a risk now. Sorry, sir. Exigent circumstances. Damn it, Anna. Careful. You're interrupting his ritual. That's what I'm trying to do. Stand down. Anna is going in. Yeah, what he want? Good afternoon, sir. Uh, do you believe the Bible is only a book? Guys, guys, there's a cop car approaching. Get that vehicle out of here. Hi there. Hi. How you doing, sir? What's going on? Is that a cable?
bar knife? He must be former Marine. Yes, I served my country. Yeah. I love my country. You know, I don't, I don't have any idea what's going on here. Oh, so maybe we could just take a break. Tell me what you did in the Marines. I was an advanced troop movement photographer. Is there somebody else in the house? Yeah. There's a girl down there. I'm sure she's okay. So there's a girl downstairs and she's okay, pretty much. You know, nothing bad has happened, and doesn't have to. Go ahead, guys. Stop the phone. Hey, it's just a phone, right? Yeah, you can answer it or not. It's really your choice. I'm with the FBI! Go in, come on. Not until my boss says so. I just can't hurt you if you're gonna fight me. May I have permission to get up, sir? Yes, ma'am. He's hit his upper limit. He'll press the reset button and regain control. Phone was the FBI negotiator. Yeah. Your former military. You know we take care of our own. All right. Run that by me again. You're not selling Bibles. I'm a federal agent. Federal agent. Good. She's got him talking. Let me see your credentials. On my waist. We've been after you for a long time, sir. Where's the other girl? Can you take me to her? Oh, gladly. Come on down. <clears throat> Couldn't get you to take these sweat cuffs off. Okay. First team in the rear. You guys take the front. You got it. This is Kyle. How's everybody in the house? Oh, well, everybody is fine. That's good. That's good. How's Anna Gray? FBI Anna Gray? Oh, she, she can't come to the phone right now. Look, you got two ladies in there, right? Why not let one of them go? Oh, no, 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 no. No way. Not ever. You're gonna have to come in here, Kyle, and get me! Get the sister on the phone. going into his ritual, distract him or bust in there now. Tell him he can see his sister. We got a problem, boss. Rose Brennan is deceased. Tell him the truth. There's my baby. What the hell? I'm sorry to tell you, Ray. Your sister's gone. Died of a heart attack a year and a no, half ago. No, 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 no. You're, you're lying. It's part of your game. I'll never lie to you, Ray. I'm looking at the death certificate now. No. I'm afraid your sister's gone. Let us help you through this. Hey, what's going on? He says that Rose is dead. 
dead. No, nobody told me. I'm sorry for your loss. Your sister loved you, isn't that right? <laughs> she knew you're a good person, Ray. But I don't know, something happened, something bad, and you couldn't stop it. But your sister would want you to put the knife down now. Rose would want you to walk out of here whole. Ray. She can't be here to help you now, but I can. Okay? Ray. Look. Here. Put your shirt on. And let's walk out of here together. You put the knife away. Mike, move to green. Detective Barringer, status. Charges in place. On oh my mark. Brennan has agreed to surrender. Stand down when we come through the door. Copy that. It's his arrest. It is? Dude, she just gave you your first arrest, like I gave to her. It's what we do. Thank you. I'll never forget you. Yeah, well, you're in the bureau now, OK? Not the Cub Scout. So let's talk about these shorts. got all the stats? Yes, sir. What do we got from FBI Austin? Jane Doe, Austin, deceased. Trudy McRae, Miami, rape victim. Martha Fontaine, Washington, D.C., rape victim. Armini Hartunian, Los Angeles, deceased. Bridget Randall, Los Angeles, kidnapped. Roxy Santos, Los Angeles, abused. Juliana Meyer Murphy, Los Angeles, rape victim. 